Today we're going to talk about eye and face protection. There are quite a few potential eye and face hazards in fabrication shops, including flying objects, flying particles, chemicals, ultraviolet radiation, infrared radiation, and visible glare. Eye and face protection is mostly about selecting and properly using the right personal protective equipment to keep the eyes and face safe since these potential hazards can't be engineered out of the workplace. Safe work practices for eye and face protection follow. Wear the proper uh, type of eye and face protection anytime there is the potential for flying objects, flying particles or chemical splashes, or in the presence of ultraviolet or infrared radiation. For starters, you should always put on a pair of safety glasses before you enter into a working fabrication shop. Select safety glasses that provide either wraparound protection or side shields so that the flying objects or particles can't get into your eyes from the sides. On each pair of safety glasses, there should be stamped an ANSI Z87 number which will identify them as being appropriate for protection. If you wear regular glasses, you can either have prescription safety glasses made or wear contact lenses under your standard safety glasses. Be sure to keep your safety glasses on at all times, even when you're welding. They won't affect your welding helmet, so be sure to wear them underneath. When working with chemicals that can be harmful to your eyes, such as acids or solvents, wear splash-proof safety goggles and a face shield. If you happen to be soldering, use safety goggles with a minimum of a number two shaded lens. When brazing, your safety goggles should have at least a number three shaded lens. When cutting with oxyacetylene, use shaded goggles designed specifically for that purpose. The minimum shade for the lens is number five. When welding, your welding helmet filter plate shade will need to be somewhere between a number 10 and a number 14, depending on what type of welding you're performing and several other factors. If you are not sure what shade of filter plate you need, check the welding machine manufacturer's recommendations or check with your supervisor. Always wear a face shield when you're grinding, chipping, wire brushing, using chemicals, or performing any other type of work that could result in a face injury. But always remember that a face shield does not provide adequate protection for your eyes. You always need to wear safety glasses or safety goggles under your face shield. Your eyes and your face are important. These are just a few tips to help you manage how to successfully operate in a fabrication shop while preserving your eyes and face.